we're here in the Schmidt and Bender booth with Karen, who's going to provide us a little bit of information in terms of the products that are available for long range precision shooters. Karen, what do we have here? So this is one of our rather new scopes. It's a 3 to 20 by 50 PM2 ultra short. Um, it's a shortened version of our introduced 3 to 20. Um, it is for real long range shooting. Um, it is equipped with a very good double turn elevation so with a huge amount of elevation adjustment for going to real long distances. Um, it is a parallax um, adjustment on the side wheel. You can go from 25 meter to infinity. Capped windage turn. Various reticles are available, tactical reticles for sport application um, or for tactical applications. It's in the full metal version, very grippy, um, very usable, brilliant optics, wide field of view. Huge magnification. And range. this is a first focal plane reticle? Yeah, sure, it is first focal plane. Okay, and, and so uh, full travel in two revolutions, is that yes, correct? Yes, right. So this is with more tactile clicks, so every tenth click is a little bit stronger. Um, the double turn is indicated by pop up here, so if I just turn it up, so um, we can just see that it pops up. Now you can feel it, you can see it, yeah. and then you can just lock the turret by pushing it down. Gotcha. And then uh, illumination? Illumination is on the back side, it goes gotcha. mechanically on 11 le levels, so you have different options of illuminated reticle, center dot illuminated or whole reticle illuminated, depending on whatever you want. To see. Now I notice here you have um, these tactical tough scope caps, does that come with a scope as well? Um, it can be ordered along with the scope, okay. it's not a standard but it can be ordered Okay, along. so that's an option as well. Very good, and then wh what's rough pricing on this? Um, pricing is different depending on the configuration that okay. you're going to choose. Gotcha. And so. Uh, where does it sit in the lineup? Do you have something that's even uh, has more magnification for? Yes, yeah, sure. So we have actually, since we go with long range shooting for a very long time and have a long expertise in that, um, we have different magnifications. Some start with three on the lower end, go up to twenty. We have another one, a shorter one, which starts with five, which we will see later on. We have a three to twenty, seven and nine power zoom scope. We have a five to twenty five, which is currently the PSR contest, and then we have. Uh, just new skill with 5 to 45, so for really ultra long distances. Gotcha. Okay, let's take a look at the other one. And what do we have here? Yeah, that's the 5 to 20 by 50 PM2 ultra short. That's the, actually the shortest sniper scope that's available in the market right now. It is shorter than on uh, A4 paper sheet in length, so less than 30 centimeters. Okay. Um, as the other scope, it is available in colors like Pantone or in uh, Rally 1000, kind of a tan color. Uh, more yellow and um, then we have again illuminated version this one is also available non-illuminated which is probably of interest for the american market um, it's first focal plane has the same to double turn elevation turret parallax setting again capped windage turret very tough and rough from the metal um, parts externally wide field of view brilliant optics so basically all what you want to have when you go on long distances okay now i notice on the ocular lens you just um, adjusted it. Is it. Are you able to lock the ocular? No, this is not lockable actually, but okay. normally you adjust it once and it's not that easy to move, so basically it stays the same um, over the time of use. Okay, great. And then we had a couple more? Yeah, we have a couple of more. So, um, so probably right now this is the most famous scope that we have and um, our best seller. Yep. So this has won the PSR contest a few years ago. It's now with the Special Operating Forces um, of the U.S. Army, um, the uh, Air Force, um, Marine Corps, and um, the Navy. So um, basically everywhere in use. Um, it's a 5 to 25, used to long distance. It's, we have a proven shot up to 2.5 kilometers with that, with that scope. Um, this comes with other turrets. So basically these are, again, double turn turret, locking version, a little bit higher than the other one. Can be obtained with up to 34 uh, mil radians in the, uh, in the turret. Um, also with more distinct clicks. This is a, a locking turret on the windage side um, with a zero stop. We have a parallax setting which starts even with 10 meters on the lower end, goes up to infinity. Um, again, available in the color. This is exactly the scope that has been now with the contest, but it's available in black or another color too. Yeah. Brilliant optics. This looks very familiar to me because I have one that's actually uh, okay. black. <laughs> so you know. But as you said, it's, it's a very popular uh, yeah, rifle it's, scope. It's, it's the most popular right yeah. now. Um, okay. So yes, based on that, we have gone to high magnifications. So this actually has won a SOCOM contest some year ago. It was exactly designed for the SOCOM um, specifications. The intention was to go to even longer distance than 2.5 kilometers to go beyond the three or four kilometers. Um, so we decided to go to a nine power zoom, which is, to be, to be honest, a very, very difficult task to achieve in optics. So we have brilliant optics, but um, 
we still can go from three power for a good overview, go up to 27 power for target identification of very long distances, so you can really distinguish between enemy and friend. Um, you have a parallax again starting at 10 meters. Um, same turrets on the PSR one, so we have taken the both, best out of the bo of both worlds from the 3 to 20 and from the 5 to 25. Eliminated first vehicle plane tactical radicals. Right. Okay. Fantastic. And, yeah, and last but not least, so since we already had the nine power zoom, the question is what can we do out out of a nine power zoom scope? So right. we started inside the five to twenty five is a really good selling scope, um, but we can go higher. So we decided to go to forty five power. So it's a five to forty five by fifty six. Mm -hmm. um, it's again an optic for with a high resolution. You can really identify targets on longest distances. Um, we have a perfect setting starting this time from 30 meter because this is for long range shooting. So you know, talk about 10 meter distance. Uh, we have the same turrets as on the first one I showed to you. This is a flat turret with a lot of elevation inside. Now I'm curious. Um, this is distinctive in terms of a short turret. Is there a reason in terms of how or the, why it was designed that yes, way? Yes, of course there is. So the question always is, can, what can we do about the short distances when we're in combat situations? And we answer the question, you can use a backpack red dot sight, but to be able to use a backpack red dot sight, you have to take it behind the turret. And this means to overlook the turret. So this is less than two centimeter in height. Okay. So basically, again, cap windage turret, it's around about 1.1 kilogram, um, so which is for the scope of this size. And, th and this is also first focal plane? It is first focal plane, yes. Okay. And then the same options or choices in, in this scope yes. as the others? Yes, exactly. Very good. Well, thank you. Uh, really appreciate that. And um, thanks to Schmidt and Binder for providing us an overview of the scopes. Best of luck in 2016. Thank you so much.